Hey guys, TV back with you again. And today I'd like to talk about a pretty important subject when it comes to backpacking, being out in the wilderness, hiking, stuff like that. Uh, and that's boots. So stick with me and I'll show you what kind of uh, different footwear that I use based on the conditions that I'm in. So hang on and we'll get to it. regular hiking boots which are North Face boots these are just standard hiking boots um, they work well um, they'll take me down to about you know close to freezing you know below that you know 20 degrees somewhere in that area and with the right socks still keep my feet pretty warm and they work great. These have been used a lot. These have seen a lot of snow and a lot of snowshoeing. So, uh, you know, they hold up really well. And, you know, the product itself being North Face is a lifetime guarantee. So, you know, on the product itself, you know, if you keep them for 20 years, they're going to wear out and they're not going to replace that. But, you know, if you have a defect or something breaks on them, they will replace them for free. But the equal model are something very close to it. When you go up another step, I go to my North Face Tundra Cats. And um, these will take you down to zero. And um, they're really comfortable. They're super insulated. Um, of course, they're a little heavier than the other boots. But, uh, you know, these, will, these are very good in snow. They, got, they have good traction. And, um, you know, even if you're walking on sidewalks in a snowy city, um, they'll at least keep you up on your feet pretty well. But they're um, very warm, keep your feet nice and toasty, even if you're walking in snow. And, uh, you know, they uh, come up pretty high on your, uh, above your ankles. So, uh, you know, you just keep your pants legs down around them, and they work really well. Great boots. Love them. Now, if you want to go into extremes, these are my extreme boots. These are my Sorel Caribou's. I've had these for a lot of years. I've had these since the uh, late 90s. And these are rated to minus 40 degrees. And uh, the great thing about these are is they're tough, uh, they're waterproof, and they work really, really good in extreme temperatures. I've had these down to minus 21 degrees and Never had a problem with my feet getting cold, ever. Now one thing about the caribous that you have to know is that they have these liners inside of them. And the liners are about three quarters of an inch of wool. And uh, then they've got this, you know, nice little sheepskin collar on them, which keeps any snow or anything from getting down inside your boots. But the one thing about wearing the Sorrells is, is if, say you're out, like if I go dog sledding, if you're going to be out for days and days, as you go, your feet are going to sweat inside these boots, especially if you're, you know, being very active, like, you know, dog sledding or something. So what you do is you buy an extra set of liners because these just pull out. They're not attached in any way. They just pull out. And the best thing to do is at night, you know, put them on a stick or hang them in your tent somewhere and let them dry. Uh, I mean, you know, they'll dry even if it's below freezing or below zero. They'll still dry out if they're wet. That moisture will evaporate from them. And you have to do that. Otherwise, your feet, after a couple of days, are going to start getting, you know, pretty soggy because you're sweating in your liners. So you always have to get a second set of liners, and what I do is I swap them each day. And then that allows me to, you know, swap them out, dry them, swap them out. And sometimes I'll even stick a, at night, you know, about dinner time, I'll stick a stick in the ground, uh, two sticks in the ground, close to the fire, and I'll stick my boot liners on those, and I'll dry them out. 
and um, that makes sure that your feet always stay warm, especially if you're way below zero, which is, you know, where I go sometimes. But um, like I said, these, the Sorrells are rated to minus 40 set, uh, Fahrenheit, and uh, they work very, very well. But from the North Face hiking boots to the Tundra Cats to the Sorrells, you have to base your footwear on what conditions you're going to be in. And if you're going to be in really cold conditions, you've really got to watch what footwear that you're going to take on that trip because you've got to keep your feet warm. The old saying I was taught many, many years ago when I started backpacking was, if your feet get cold, you're in trouble. Because once they get cold, it's really, really hard to ever get your feet to warm back up once they get really, really cold. So anyway, that's just a few tips, you know, something I've gained over the years of uh, backpacking and, you know, all the different conditions that I go out in, you know, anywhere from New Mexico to northern Texas to, uh, you know, the central United States and Colorado, places like that, and then all the way up to northern Minnesota, you know, just south of the Canadian border on a dog sled. So you got to base your footwear on what conditions you're going to be in. And you got to take care of that. That's a major issue you really have to watch uh, to make sure that your feet always stay warm and you're always safe and comfortable in the footwear that you've got with you depending on the conditions. Anyway, just want to share those tips with you guys. Uh, stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody.